You know, I was approached, uh, you were out of town, uh, and I was approached by a friend that, uh, by happenstance, was connected to me in several different ways, and she approached me one day, uh, she called and asked if we would be interested in this case that took place in April of this year, 2024, and of a missing uh, young man. And I told her that, you know, let me talk to David and see, because, you know, you can sometimes need to know if it fits criteria or if it's, right. if we can talk about it yet. And, and so right. you, I was so surprised. I had you on the, only on the phone. Usually you, you need to think about things for, for a while. You know how you are. Uh, I think I wasn't even two minutes into the conversation and you said, let's do it. Oh yeah. yeah. I was blown away. You've. It's what I've been looking for. It, yeah, it's and so the for. story of this is about a young man named uh, Timmy Sterner, and Timmy uh, had been incarcerated and went missing uh, the day after he got released in April. Right. And so we have been on this journey these last couple of weeks, really interviewing uh, family and friends, and um, we have talked to a lot of people and um, we are still set at this time to talk to his mother uh, but we have spoken to his father and his grandmother and his uncle and, and friends as well and this family just like Letha's uh, they want answers and they're deserved answers um, this case is so mind-boggling to me I guess because it, There's so many details that yeah, I've the, been involved in. With. Yeah, and, and uh, to let the audience know is that going back to Letha's. I thought when we were when we got done with Letha's six episodes, and I remember sitting there every time we would interview somebody else. It, it's like this this road that has many winds and turns, and and I thought uh, for the audience, uh, welcome to being a murder cop. Is that's yeah. victimology? You will, if you do the job, you will have the same interviews that we had with these people. And, and with lots of people, uh, I, I would challenge everybody to go back and listen to Letha's and then listen to, we're going to call this one, Never Forget About Little Timmy. This is coming out very soon, and the episodes will start to drop. As you listen, get a notepad and do two things. Uh, try to keep track of the, his last moments and then jot down ideas on what are the range of possibilities mm -hmm. as to what could happen to Timmy. Uh, just like Kevin K. Jacks Jackson, which yes. is another one we did with a beautiful mother that it doesn't have answers. Just like with Michael uh, Gorley, mm -hmm. uh, uh, another uh, you know, beautiful family that doesn't have answers. And and I'm just going to hint them off to this, that, that one of the things about this case is just like those other two cases we covered, we have a solid last known location. Yes. Solid last seen with, which means people who were seen with and it's more than one. We'll stop there, I, but go back, listen to K. Jax Jackson, listen to Michael Gorley, and start listening to Never Forget Little Timmy because that's where the frustration is. And you can draw some conclusions pretty quickly about where it would go. But I'd like people to go on the, the Murder Police podcast or the Murder Police case briefing on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or wherever you, you find your social media and you're following us. And as you're listening, throw out your ideas. What do you think? What do you, what do you think the possibilities are? And because uh, there's a range out there, there is. And you know, when you sit down with each of the different people, I think what's so frustrating about this particular case with little Timmy is everyone has the same ideal about what happened. That roughly, and we're talking yeah. to them separately, but it all leads back to the last known address. That's it. That's and it. it's, I mean, you know, like I said, we've sat down with some of his family and these people, obviously, like anybody would be that has a missing child, even though he's an adult, that family, it's, it was the interview with his dad was heartbreaking and mm -hmm. that family just deserves answers they and do. and those answers um, are out there they're out there they're and out you know there. nothing would nothing would please me more than to know that we had i mean i know the detective has to ultimately work it but 
nothing would please me more than to know that we helped uh, get the family answers because at this point they just want to know where little Timmy is and mm. we just need to shake that tree. Yeah, need so to shake that tree. 